All right, but I just got done doing these cylinders. I talked about reading micrometers. So you got big ones, the small ones, and outside ones, and inside ones, and they all have the same thing. They got markings on here. Look at the sizes. So here's one over here. What we're going to do is we're going to show you the differences. A little light on there might help. How to read these things. So basically, this is a one inch mic. This here says three to four mic. It's measuring. Measure to make something that's between three and four inches in diameter. This is an inside mic, and they're adjustable by taking out spacers in here and different length stands that go in here to get different mics, to get different ranges. This kit will go anywhere from uh, about an inch and three quarter, probably up to six inch. So you have to pick the one within a half inch of what you're going to measure. So this here is a roller bearing out of this uh, motor we're working on. Here and we want to. If you want to measure something, you got to know what it is. So, what you do is you take your mic and you stick it in here and measure the darn thing. Now you can crank on this thing and make the dial go wherever you want, or you can have a little light feel on it. You know, ideally, you should be able to rotate your part in the mic and still have a good feel for it. So that would be your ideal temp or pressure, but you can cramp it down pretty hard because see, so you look at your zero, so you can go deeper. But it has to adjust to what you want. Now some of them have these little thumb wheels out here. You hear them click. And, whoop, and that will adjust your tension for you. So you can go down until you, you hit it and go a couple clicks. And that's your tension. And if you see the number right there where it's at. Now you also tell that you can turn them. You can turn this. Give it a couple clicks and you can still turn it. So I ones that ah, darn it. Keep dropping it. So I run them a little more tension than that. I run about to this tension. But you know, all your it's all adjustable what you want to make it at. So basically that's what you, you have to decide what you're gonna do it at. So anyway, these are basically quarter inch diameter bearings. So you gotta know what a quarter inch is. That's two hundred fifty thousandths. You can go look it up on charts. Uh, a lot of mics will have a, a cheat scales right here on the side. They tell you what this 1-8 is for 1 8 of an inch, so it's, that'd be 0 0.125, so it's 125 thousandths. Uh, if you want to know what uh, seven, 7 is, whatever that 7 is going to be, that would be on the 16th scale, so you see the 16th right here. So that would be 7 16th would be 0 0.3125, so otherwise known as 312 and a half thousandths, if you got the four digits. You go over here on the other side, you got 30 seconds of an inch. So you want to know what 1732 is? It's 531.2000. So that's called cheating. They also have charts to give you all this stuff. If you do enough of the stuff, you measure it, a lot of it, you just remember in your head. So this roller here is basically a quarter inch, but it's not truly a quarter inch. It's there's always how many digits do you want to go out? It's a quarter inch if you go out only well, like two digits, 250. If you go out the third digit, it's 249. It averages up to 250 though. Now, a lot of mics will have a veneer scale, which is a scale on the side over here. And that breaks your thousands up into ten. So that gives you tenths of thousands. So right now you can see that we're on zero. You see the first big one here is a hundred thousand, the big two is two hundred thousands. These little marks in between are twenty-five thousands each. This wheel has twenty-five thousand uh Per turn, so you look at here it's 20, 21, 22, 23, 25. So every time you go up 25, it goes up one mark. If you go down 25, it goes down one mark. If you go down to an even number, down to your zero, your 200, that would be 200 right there. If you come up one turn, it's 225. So these are 250 because that's quarter inch. So go back up to two and a half lines there, and put our go ahead and put the bearing back in there. So we know this is 250 is zero. We're not quite to zero, so that means we're 249. If you read it around, you can go 225 plus 20, which is 245, plus 1, 2, 3, 4, 4, 45, and 4 is 49. And then you have, you see it's just a little bit under the, the zero, so you're 49, 249. If you go over to your graduations on the side over here, you, you want to line up these scales. When they line up with each other, that's your number. So you see right now it's we were close right here. 
<clears throat> excuse me, and then it just got worse as we went, and then it starts getting closer again. And you get all the way over to here, you can see where it lines up. And you got zero again right here, you got nine, you got eight, and you got seven. If you look at it, eight is the closest thing it's lined up to. So this is eight tenths of a thousandths. So that makes it 249.8 thousandths. That's eight tenths of a thousandths. So that's two tenths of a thousandths under the one and a quarter. I mean under the quarter, it's not one and a quarter. So that was that one. This one here is another bearing. This one came out of the same motor. You go over here and you look at this one. It's, it's the same thing, it's just under the zero. You go around over here and you look at the scale. See there's the eight and you see it's kind of slightly off and here's the nine. And it's slightly off of that. It's kind of in between. Oop, get up where you can see better. So this one's actually eight and a half tenths, which means you got another another digit. So these things will vary slightly. Now your pressure that you hold these at will change. If you crank it a little bit more, it'll go all the way down to that eight number. See how now I'm under the eight and it's getting closer to seven, but it's still closer to eight than to seven. I cramped it. I clamped it down a little bit hard, tighter. So it has to go by your feel. The mics are set to you. These are adjustable to be what you adjust for you. So for me, the tension on this one is eight, and for this other one, it's about seven and a half. Yep, get away and read it again. I use a little bit more higher tension. If I was using a little thumb wheel up here, we know it's a little bit looser, it would probably be eight and eight and a half. Now, this has grown by half a thousand, half a tenth, because I've been holding on to this thing for about ten minutes now. The longer you hold on to this mic, it warms up. When it warms up, it gets bigger. So it's not back at room temperature. So all this tends to be at the temperature standardization of whatever you're going to use. And room temperature is the best number to use. So you lay this down for a few minutes, come back and measure it again. And that would be the number you'd use. If you hold the mic too long, your numbers get off. So anyway, that's how you read the mics. And like I said, you can go all the way up to whatever number you want. You know, this here's a 3 a bolt sitting here. So you just go ahead and spin it on down until it hits it. And you can read it. So this one here, it's 350 because it's got two full lines. And you add 19 to it, so it's 9, uh, 50 and 19 is going to be 69. So it's 369 thousandths. Now, 3 eighths is supposed to be right over here. 3 eight eighths is 0 0.375, 375 thousandths. So this is 6 thousandths undersized, which bolts are about 5 to 6 under under shanks. That way they fit inside of 3 eighths holes nicely. And the threads are a little smaller too. That's, see, that's 6 thousandths under there. Easier the shanks will be bigger than the thread, but in this case, it's a crappy bolt. The thread's bigger than the, see the threads actually grow a little bit. They're not consistent. That's normal too. Crappy bolts. So, anyway, that's how you made your bike. And, you know, they're pretty simple once you figure out it's done. With your, they get very darn accurate though. So, there you go.